some healthy-ish stir-fry noodles not healthy-ish they're actually healthy some healthy stir-fry noodles and just go along with me and i'll show you how we do it okay i've got all the ingredients that i'll be using this is carrot i've got mixed peppers and scotch bonnet and onion here i've parboiled my spaghetti so i just cooked it till i did al dente and i ran it under cold water to stop the cooking process and here i've got my chicken thigh i know a lot of people like to use chicken breast when they're making um stir fry but i rather use the thigh especially with the chicken i get here i like the texture and consistency of the chicken thigh better so i've got that here i've chopped it and i've seasoned it with some salt some maggi seasonings um chili flakes um mixed herbs and curry and thyme so i've left that to sit in the marinade for a while before i started the cooking process eh, and now i'm just going to start cooking the stir fry for this stir fry i'll be using um butter and not um vegetable oil or anything so i'll just put like a teaspoon to a tablespoon of butter in here and then i'm gonna stir fry my chicken till it cooks So I just keep stirring and stirring to the cook. And when you're doing this stir fry process, do it on low heat, low to medium heat and not high heat. Because in the process of cooking the chicken, it's going to release some water or fluid, and that's what's going to be helpful when I add the carrots in. Because carrots is not like the peppers that they get off easily. It can be of a crunchy um, fruit slash vegetable one. So the next thing I like is to cook a bit so that's what will help in the cooking process of the carrots. So I just keep stirring. And I know I'm using just mixed peppers and carrots, but you can also add mushrooms, anything you like in like a stir fry. There are a range of vegetables that you can add. But I'm just keeping this as simple as possible so you just keep stirring and you can see that the chicken is cooking now so you just keep stirring till the chicken fully cooks so the chicken is cooked and you keep cooking while you do the rest so the next bit i'm going to add um, is my carrots so and with that too i keep on stirring stirring it in cooking it for a while because like i said i don't want the carrots to come out as crunchy as, as it is now in the final process of the food so i'll just do that and i just you just have to keep stirring with the carrots too and let it cook for about five to ten minutes on low to medium heat too so you just keep stirring and steaming So that's cooked for a bit so and the next thing i'll add are uh, my peppers but i don't want them to overcook so once i add them i'm just going to add the spaghetti in because i want them to remain fresh so next thing so i add the peppers in and then i stay again stay 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 for about one to two minutes just to make sure it takes up the I'll add the spaghetti. I'm just going to leave this to steam for about five minutes and then it's ready to eat and the one thing i like about stir fries is that they are very easy and straightforward like you don't have to do any long processes it's like you just add everything together and you keep stirring 
So yeah, this is my simple spaghetti step fry and i'd like to say a massive thank you to you guys for watching today and obviously the seasoning you have to do it to taste i've seasoned the chicken at the beginning with enough seasoning to know that it's going to be fine for the amount of food i'm cooking but taste and adjust to your taste thank you for watching and you can like and share subscribe to our channel and share with other people let us know what you think send give us a comment down below thank you bye